Hey everybody, it's Tyler here at Vex Rules, checking in with VRC Middle School Team 3590A Hawaiian Kids. This robot here, absolutely phenomenal performance as they won the Hawaii State Championship, so congratulations on an awesome run there, making it here in the Vex Rules. A lot of great stuff we talked about on 3590A, going running through a lot of things they're doing, including their autonomous touch sensor that they have, talking about their intake and following that tri-ball journey with their catapult, and they also have a uh, dual climb as well too. So let's learn more about them coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Michaela, start talking about your autonomous side of things. Uh, you're running a, uh, a button that you have on there that allows you to select autonomous. So I'd love to hear more about what it is. How did you come up with it? And can you just talk to us about a couple of your autonomous modes? Yes. Okay, so basically um, our mentors actually um, suggested for us to use the touch sensor. I think it's really helpful for me because it allows my teammates to um, select a program. So if we're like rushing through things or if I need help, she can just select the program without worrying about having to place it and whatnot. I really like it because it allows me to hold multiple programs in one file instead of having to make like multiple different like files of programs and then having to switch it on the controller every like every time we run the program. So I think it's very helpful for me and my team. I also really like it because it allows the name to show up on the screen. So I make sure to know what program we're running, for example. Like when we were running our far side auto, it would say far side auto on the screen, so I would know that it's the correct program. Uh, what are, can you run me through a, a couple of your autos, like how they actually work on the field when you select them? Like what, what is maybe your favorite auto that you had? You said you have a far side, but what do you like to run the most? I think I like the close side auto the most because it's very swift and it makes quick movements yet very accurate. It pushes one of the tri balls back to the other side of the field so that um, they have like an extra point which makes us like have a better chance of getting autonomous win point and then it also pushes one of the tri balls into the net which I think is really good for our robot that's one of, probably one of my favorite autos perfect hi young when we were talking earlier uh, you have the dual sleds on there so I'd love to hear more about that when I watched you on the field earlier able to really traverse over that barrier bar quite nicely on that so talk to me more about your dual sleds and any iterations or changes you've made like throughout the season on them um, in the beginning of the season we had no sleds on our robot at all not even in the front and it was really hard to get over the bar but we added these sleds because we can go over the bar backwards and forwards instead of having to go through the tunnel and it saves a bunch of time very cool and then you know looking at what you have here can you just talk about it looks like a like a polycarb material or something like that but then i also noticed uh that you have some supports kind of keeping them in place can you just talk about how you're making sure that you're not getting any flex or bend out of, out of those um before we used to not have any supports but our um, sleds would break all the time, so we always had to change it out. So we added support so we wouldn't have to. Lom, well, you're running a dual uh, hanger system here. So we talked about earlier that you have the uh, side hang, and then you also have your uh, top hang as well too. But this just got added recently. So I'd love to hear more about uh, adding this into and some of the versatility you get out of that. Um, yeah, before we had two hangers, only one person could hang on our alliance. And that would most of the time like cost us some matches if we if we were really close and points. So after we added that, now we can have two hang two hangs each match, and that's really helped us and gives us given us an advantage when um, competing because yeah it gives us more points. Can we see the uh, uh, climbers deploy a little bit and what the, I know you got your side one deploy. Can we see what your top one looks like? So you've had this one uh, since before Vex Worlds, right? Mm -hmm. On here, have you used your side uh, climber yet here? Uh, we're only about three matches in for what you had so far, mm -hmm. but have you deployed it and used it so far? Um, yeah, we have. Um, and then looking at uh, Master Edge, you talked about having that versatility between the two on there. Uh, talking to other alliance partners on that, is that something that you've seen that would be a desirable strategy? Should you be a good alliance partner or an alliance captain? Um, yes, because we have a lot more versatility in our um, choices and how other people pick us because if they have top hangs, we can side hang and vice versa. So that's really helped us, um, what is it called? Adjust to our teammates better. 
Jeremiah, let's talk about your catapult that you have on here as well. Um, you have a, a slip gear on here too. So walk me through a little bit more about how your catapult works, your slip gear. And if you don't mind at the end, I'd love to hear a little bit more about your intake too. For our catapult, we use, we use a slip gear and the slip gear, when the gear pulls it down and when it hits the, the shaved off part, the rubber bands pull it up. So when we place the tri ball, it would shoot it. And we use these plastic pieces so it would, so it wouldn't be metal hitting plastic, and it would create more resistance. Kind of dampens that shot a little bit, right? Absolutely. And for the intake, before we we use on our first robot, our intake was was a part of it, so it didn't move up and down. But we brainstormed to make ideas, and we found out that having a separate body would make it easier for for the tribots tribots intake and score and we used a mesh so it would mold for the tri ball so it would intake no matter what i noticed on here too you have kind of a funneling system a little bit as well uh that allows you to have a little bit more of a narrow intake have you seen that you're able to get kind of a wider reach by having something like this yeah it helps us a lot because i don't gotta angle myself as often and it saves many time when i'm driving well, Hawaiian Kids is your Hawaii State Champions. Congratulations on a great season. We can't wait to see how you do here at Vex Rules as well. But thanks for telling us more about your robot. Uh, a great team, and we can't wait to see how you do. Good luck the rest of the way. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.